activating. Let's see if we can't get a hold of Mayor Lusum Hagar. Car troubles? I just might be your man. You. There's more to You're police in this place it. than just keeping Go roughnecks back. in check. Nobody gets in here looking like some wasteland slum scum. Feel me? Oh, hey! <laughs> it's another ranger. <laughs> Say, you people, uh, you still uh, help others out like you used to. <laughs> you know, like back in the ranger heyday. I've heard all the stories. <laughs> See, my grandma used to be a ranger, but she's old. I worry about her. She lives out there by the racetrack alone, tinkering with her inventions and just being plain old strange. <laughs> I keep telling her to move in with me, but nope, oh no, she won't have it. If you rangers are uh, still a help, would you mind telling her to come live with me here in Will Spring? Another ranger. Uh, maybe I could, if I'm headed that way. Thanks a bunch. I can't believe there are still rangers around that do that. Next up, hey, I'll walk in. Whoop de dum. Another wasteland yokel lost in the big city. What can Sheriff Mako Kuru do for you? I'm a ranger, here to help. Anything going on, Sheriff? Muties. Goddamn muties, as usual. I sent a trigger team down the old tunnels to root them out. They've only managed to rope them in. They lack the killing power to finish them off. Something's got to be done, and soon, or we'll have muties up top in no time. I'm not planning on waiting in that shed like Gun Barrel. Over here, shooter. Inter Yo, I'm Slaghead. I manage most of the caravan trade going through Wellspring. I got a major contract that requires some serious firepower. The goon squad have taken Stilltown to the east, killed everyone, and moved in. I'd say that's bad news. The caravan masters need someone who can take back our outpost. There's a small army of goons holed up there, so we need someone experienced. You look experienced. Sure, I'm experienced. I'll take a look. More than a look, I hope. Let us know when it's clear and we'll send in our people. One right on top of the great crack. 
was something in there. Made the most awful noise. Screams of pain, you know? Fucking shit coming out. Oh, I think it's haunted, yep. The spirits of the old world are coming back to suck the life out of the living. <laughs> I'm taking the long way around from now on. Yes, sir. Gigator rinds, some pickled song shat eyeballs. <laughs> we got lychee slices. I do good with horseradish on the side, extra mellow. <laughs> and swill. Always swill. Maybe later. Not here to relax. Hey, can I get something off my chest? About my old friend Ned? Just nobody listens to me talk about Ned. And I want to talk about him now. You see, Ned. Ned was the kind of guy that had to do things the opposite of everyone else. He built this whack outpost that perched on top of a bridgehead. It was practically hanging out over the great crack. And then Ned slipped in some slime vogel scat and fell way down the crack. He caved his skull in. I hear the goons live there now. So uncool. I mean, my old friend Ned really hated that those goddamn psycho mohawks live in his bridge house. Please, just here. Hey, Chris Ladong, out of Strongbox to the east. One of just a handful of survivors. We were negotiating to join the Trade Coalition when a force of goon squad came at us out of nowhere. They trampled all over our defenses. I'm sure they're still there now, tearing up the place. I lost my home and people in a similar way. How can I help? Mayor Lusum says she can't do a goddamn thing about it. But if you can, you can grab whatever's still left of value. We even got an ark. Not that anyone can open the damn thing. Just get rid of those goons. I want vengeance for my people. Curious? I can help. So you deal in information? told to keep my eyes peeled for you. I'm Wyatt Ferris. I handle special operations for the mayor's office. I was wondering who handled Lusum's dirty work. I do my part in keeping the city safe. Right now, I'm focused on slowing the Immortal Shrouded's aggressive expansion in this area. I could use someone like you for a high-stakes assignment. The Shrouded have taken over an old factory nearby. Seems harmless enough. But somehow, they managed to get the old reactors in there up and running, and they're using them to fuel further raids. They'll strike again soon. I can feel it in my bones. A demo team couldn't take out those reactors fast enough, but you already have the necessary tools to get it done. Can you help? I think I made myself clear about the urgent situation in the factory. You... Gotta go.
lock, loaded, and reload. Yeah, hello. Yeah, we'll come back alive. Redcap's the name. You know, back in the war, I used to supply a resistance base near Scraplands. It was built into the canyon walls and always had some great old technology. I was thinking about all that stuff not long ago and decided to go get it, but the place was full of nasty goons. If someone was to go there and root out the bastards, well, that someone would end up the wealthy owner of all the old world stuff still there. Old tech, huh? Might be worth my time. for the mayor of Wellspring. Now you're in the right place, but at the wrong time. Mayor Hagar and her staff are in lockdown. Whatever your business, you can wait. Try another day, or don't try at all. Nope, I aim to keep it that way. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. The mayor has bigger problems than you, Sideshow. Now, as I said... Oh, hear that? You think it can catch a bullet, too? Lusum Hagar, mayor of Wellspring. Used to be a wingstick whiz kid. Nowadays, backs it up with a pistol. Instrumental to the Dagger Project. Huh. Just a very exclusive list knows about that project. And you're not on it. Prowley sent me. Prowley, huh? Prowley's dead. Vineland was raised to the ground. She's a hologram. I can't explain. I'm Walker, the last of the Vineland Rangers. God damn it. More of these assholes! Ranger, let's take these fuckers out! Then we'll talk! They gunned down your people, I gunned down them. Maybe you will prove useful to me after all. Ah! You're pretty damn skilled, stranger. Sure you're in the island? Hear that? They're coming up the elevator. Get ready. Steady now. Once the door opens, they're walking into a fucking blender. Like fish in a barrel. Got the skill for the kill, I grant you. <laughs> These goons are thoroughly dead. Not what I expected from your boxed-in little compound. <laughs> You're different. You ready? Ready to talk now? Yeah. Let's talk.
You want to tell me what's going on here? Dagger was designed to stop the Authority once and for all. Plans fell by the wayside when Vineland cut ties with us. I'm more than willing to reboot the project. But as you can see, I have more pressing matters. I can see that. Who are these guys? Tired thugs. The Goon Squad. Small-time bandit outfit. Who sent them? Only one scumbag with balls enough to pull a stunt like this. Clegg Clayton. Richest asshole in town. He's been eyeing the mayor's seat for a while. But lately, he's been upping his game. Using bribed officials, he's laid claim to all of the city's military hardware. Including the vital parts needed for Dagger. So, I kill him and take back the hardware? No deal. We gotta proceed with some caution here. First, I wanna know where he gets his backing from. Second, we need to find out where he keeps all of that property. You got a plan? He's got an ego the size of an ecopod. But we can use that. If you get close to him, pay him lip service. Get his trust. Then you can easily plant this gizmo on his computer. It'll let me download all of his juicy data. Who's backing him, who's supplying the goon squad, and where he keeps the seized supplies. Clegg Clayton likes to surround himself with the rich and famous. They hang out at his so-called winner's lounge. You figure out a way to get in there, and you're well on your way to getting that gizmo planted. Okay, I'm on it. Excellent. Grab the gizmo, get into Clegg's office, and stick it on his computer. Walker, I've been meaning to ask you. Are you familiar with nanotrite powers? I got a few tricks up my sleeve. I figured as much. And I figured you'd like some more. I happened to swoop up this message from a merc working for Clegg Clayton. Name of Krom. Clayton, I hit the jackpot. There's a whole uncracked arc just sitting here. Problem is these Asshole Shrouded got the jump on us and killed half my team. You're gonna double my comp or I'll bring this info to someone with deeper pockets. I got to the Merc first, and I persuaded him to give me the location of the Ark. You should go check it out. Thanks for the info. By the way, what happened to Krom? He'll live. He's on his way to Overgrown City. Might be gone a long while. Might never come back. The gloves are finally off. Feels good to be back in action. Rangers helping people. Never thought I'd see that again. The gloves are finally off. Feels good to be back in action. Later. Scouts have been observing the Immortal Shrouded establish themselves in the Scraplands. It stands to wonder how they plan to deal with the mutant crusher out there, Sackhead the Painbringer. He's infamous for attacking and killing anything that comes even near his hiding hole. I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me tell you, there's nothing better than racing. Yeah, sure, people will say mutant bash this, mutant bash that. Yeah, right. That's not a sport. That's just pleasure killing. Racing, on the other hand, racing is a sport. A sport fit for kings. Racing is for the civilized man, the thinking man, the noble man. If you say so. You should try it. 
Yeah, you really should. You should witness the splendor firsthand. Someone like you could have been killing. Look at you. Great reflexes, steely stare, grim demeanor, perfect for the noble art of speed. Hey, find Chaz Mraz at the racetrack. He'll get you set up. Think about it. You could be a star. This is Clay Clayton's Winner's Lounge. You're no winner, you're a loser, so get lost.